Hi everyone, Missy Coda back again here inside the sci-fi facility pack from Triple Brick. This pack is amazing, it's $58 on the Unity Asset Store. I am in love! I have to tell you that now before we even get started because I don't want to just lie to you straight away going, oh, is this going to be good or bad? No, I'm in love. I'm in love with this pack. It does, this pack is actually uh, for VR as well. <gasps> loud doors, very loud doors. The triggers on those doors drive me nuts. I don't have a VR kit. I don't have anything on VR, so I can't play about and see how this performs for your VR. I can't tell you if this is good or not on VR. All I know is that uh, it is supposed to be VR compatible, how it's done it. Now, um, I'm going to leave that for you guys who have got this at home to play about and let me know how you get on yourselves but now we're gonna sit back and play with these very loud slidey doors sit back enjoy and i'll see you all in a second Hi everyone, Messi Coda back again inside Unity. I've been asleep on the sofa, but now I'm awake inside the sci fi facility pack from Triple Brick. This retails at $58 on the Unity Asset Store, and you get with it 263 models, load of 2K and 4K textures. It's grid modular based. It's wonderful. You can just snap it all together and make yourself whatever sci fi facility you want to make. I love it. I love it because it's got with it two scenes, a lit scene and a spooky dark scene. And I want to show you what it looks like, but I can't at the moment. I'm inside Unity 2018.3 Beta 7. And I've got this weird error message here. Talking about ambiguous references because there's two that could have the same Thing, the same method in there, so let's have a look. What have we got? Or the same attribute, even. We've got, um, look, min attribute here. Which one could it be? It's actually this post processing one because, uh, you know, it kind of gives it away that it gives it a looking pretty. But there's also one inside here, apparently. Uh, control full stop on your keyboard. And you see, you've got two unity engine dot min attribute and unity engine dot post processing dot min attribute. I'm going to do that one. I'm going to do that one. Click there, go there, do that. Click there, do that. Go there, do that. Click save. And like magic, like magic. Close that. And the error's gone. Let it compile again. And now we get some warnings. I'm gonna ignore warnings because warnings never done me any harm. Look, we're gonna bring some importing again. Hold on, it says. Hold on while it checks things. Hold on there. Now we've got a new one saying here. Rigid body, kinetic body of CCD enabled are not supported, CCD will be ignored. Okay, fine, good for you, good for you. And if we pop over here into the scenes, I'm gonna open up, I'll tell you what I'm gonna open up first of all. Open up first of all, lights off, lights off first of all. And we're also gonna pop over to, he's got a, where's his documentation? Where are you hiding? Read me, read me. Where are you? It is screaming out to be read. It's saying, read me, read me. Here it is. I'm going to say here. So don't forget, always do this. Always do this. Then another thing I, I, hate, I really don't like about this new version of Unity, you got to come down here, go down a little bit, and oh, we've still got problems. There we go. In a room. Now we don't have any of that naughtiness going on. So you got over here, say edit, project settings, get it a player change color space okay don't forget to do that I'm gonna go to linear and also um, defer okay as I say been asleep now I'm awake uh, always good to be awake don't, be, don't sleep too long during the day otherwise you won't get to sleep at night time bit of advice there and by default look goes into gamma gotta go over here to linear okay what is this now you'll hold on we'll go all the way across so how you been it's been a while. I haven't seen you for a while. Yes, I've been busy. I've been busy making my own asset. Also trying to make a game. Also trying to keep a job down. And at the same time, raise a family. And sleep and eat. Uh, all those things kind of uh, take its toll, don't it? It does. Uh, if anyone was at Twitch London this past weekend, which was the 17th of November 2018, today being the Sunday, the 18th, um, it was fantastic seeing you and getting drinks and hu having hugs, cuddles and laughs 
So everyone who popped over to Twitch London, wonderful to see you. Or those who couldn't make it, or maybe didn't want to make it. At least we can have a chat on Discord, or on the stream, or the w.twitch.tv slash the messy coder pop in. Fridays and Saturdays. Say hello! Say hello to the animated face. Which normally I would have my little animated face here, on the video as well, as we're doing it. But I'm not using OBS, which is what I'll have my little face overlaid on. At the moment I'm using the other bit of recording software so I can play about. So while this goes on here, I'm going to go and have a look to see if I've got a cup of tea laying about. I shall see you in a moment. In a moment. Alright, we've finished rendering all our lights. Going to click play. Let's pop inside. Do the magic. Come on, magic. Here we go. And you'll see straight away, it is looking beautiful. It has got a vault feel to it. A kind of Fallout 4 vault. Oh, what was that? We just had a a weird flickerage just happened there. That was odd. I haven't seen that actually happen before. I've not seen that happen. That is odd. That was rendered my lights. Oh, something strange happened. Okay. Let's just talk through the different styles you get. See in the top right hand corner, go so you can see. Change colour three theme. One, two, three, four. Change dirt. Five, six, seven. Change post processing profile eight, nine. Zero. We can turn the lights on and off with a T. So first of all, this is the number one color theme. Number two color theme. You see here. Now I would like to say every now and again you see these little bits here that's flickering and stuff. This is a modular kit, and this is just when the guy was putting it together. He's sometimes got pieces overlapping and they're fighting each other. So obviously when you're doing yours, you spend that little extra effort to avoid that happening and you'll be fine. This is color theme two. I like this one. It's a bit too shiny. A bit shiny. Everything in here is a bit shiny. You could tone these down in the materials. The shininess. This I like this one a lot more. This is the number three. Again, shiny. You could tone that down a touch as well. And number um oh, I was on Fina, this is number four. Two tone, Star Trekky, two tone feel to it. Now if this is too clean for you, then just pop into five, six, seven. So this is Five. We go to six. Look at this dirt and scratches have appeared now. It's nice wear and tear. Some a little bit maybe aggressive on the wear and tear, but I think this is nice. If you want to go a little bit more wear and tear, we're going to go to seven. And this is where seven's a little bit too much. This is like, you know, this is an abandoned station. You could have it that way. It's been floating in deep space for a while, or it's been under the ground for a while and just left for, for ruins. So, yeah, I mean, it's nice, but I'm not sure it works in the two tone. If we go on the three and we put it on the seven there, this one looks really well. I like, I like this one, this works well. Um, number two, how does that look with the dirt? And this one, a little bit more aggressive. Um, I think tying it down with the reflections, and it could be, could be better. My favorite, though, is on the middle ground, so like a six. A six, I think, works well for me the best. If I go onto this one and do a six, I think this looks really nice. Uh, the glass, you do get a weird kind of effect every now and again on the glass, depending on the angles and where you are, the reflection probes. It's like here, you can see that middle with the ones and the, and the one at the end. A bit odd. And if you are, uh, if they are on the edge, they, you, you get these effects here. You can see there where it's got, it's reflecting what I'm seeing here but on the glass, even though it wouldn't be, it shouldn't be reflecting that at all. That's odd. So every now and again you get weird effects like that happening. So somebody who knows what they're doing with reflection probes and reflective services inside Unity could resolve that. Now this is fantastic. This is fantastic. All oh, this is modular. Let's pause it a second. Pop over to here because I want to show you this table. This is not one piece. See? This is not one piece. This is on my computer. It's Acting up. Many is it not? This is not um, a okay, problem with Unity. I think I've got too many things running, and um, so see here. Click on these pieces. They all are individual. You can have a nice big round table if you wanted, or any shape, because they're individual pieces. All right, let's pop back in. And carry on our journey. Carry on. How about you? I got, got myself stuck. Oh, wow. Okay. There was a missing collider. So I've gone and got myself stuck. That's nice. Now I'm underneath the unit. Where did we find that? Where did we find that missing collider? Oh. 
I know you guys take the mickey out of me for being the collider seeker, but that was not intentional in any way, shape or form. Never had that happen before. I've teleported into the ground, found a new bug. That is, that is superb. That is superb. Let's just change those kind of things again. Let's go to three and six. Here we go. This is another theme. Walking around inside, loud noises. And this is what I was saying about you get the kind of fallout vibe to it. Love these little rooms. All of these modules. Look at what you can do. You can make, you can make any kind of sci-fi themed base. Underground, in a spaceship, it all works. Again, you've got that weird kind of reflection in here. You should play about with the shader, play about with the material, and tweak that to what, we, what you're happy with. Um, I love these. You get desks, you got a computer. Shame they don't have a. They haven't seen a broken computer screen. That would be nice. Or if that was animated, uh, even the cursor was flickering or something, that would have been cool. I like the beds. Bit spooky. All the beds are well made. Yeah, there's no one here. All part of your game. What could be going on? Um, if I go up to the seven, another weird thing is like you've got seven here, so the most scrapiest um, effect. Yet the signs on here are still pristine. Doesn't really work that well. Look, you think nitpicking, nitpicking here. Look at this. Again, the computers. You got these beds here for them to be the doctors. To be working on people or experimenting. Anything could be going on. What kind, of, what kind of lab was this? It's fantastic. It really is. This is $58 on the asset store. $58 on the Unity asset store made from Chubble Rig. This is fantastic. Thinking of doing something. We were going to pop in there in a second. That's what we're going here. Another room. Another guy's room. Another girl's. We've got here our um, mirror to look at ourselves, are we pretty? Yes we are pretty, very loud doors, I would actually turn that down. And inside here, got these units here, look it works fantastically well with these drawers, you could come here, loot them all, they open, they do, as I tell you to show you here, they do open and close, so you can have things in them, you could have them interactable if you wanted. Love this. Look at these little animated. I would like to have seen these kind of little animated effect on other materials as well. That would have been cool. We've got the plants in here. That um, effect of the glass kind of works with these because you expect them to be inside all moist and uh, causing the glass to go a bit weird. Again, except when you get to this. There you go, here. See there? Now that's, a, that's an issue with the post-processing profile, I think. I've seen that before. Here we go down here. Love this. Look at even the touches here. These little touches with the cabling running around. It's fantastic. You don't even notice it. You don't even notice it at first. And then you can you realize to yourself, actually, this is amazing because I'm going to be needing to do that you, this is a ready-made scene, but you're going to be needing to do that yourself. And look, lay it down, and can't do this here because it's you know in pause mode. But change your your cables how you want them to be laid out. It's fantastic, it really is. I love it. I cannot emphasize enough how much I really am loving this kit. Loving this kit so much, we're going to make something with it. We're going to make something with it. It's going to be a little bit surprising. If you were on the stream the other day. Uh, you would have heard what I would have had in mind. This is a server room of some kind. Would have liked to have the lights here blinking, but I'm also thinking that maybe if they were blinking too much, it would drive you insane. It would drive you insane if all these were blinking. But I think it works. I think it works. Love it. This server room. See, this place is massive. Massive. Really is. This is just a dowry scene of what he's put together. So, look, another room in here. Another room. We're back over here. And if we pop into this room, we've got our hangar, massive, like engine room or something in here, generators, a hangar for a spaceship to launch and go off, anything. We could have bay doors, I'm not even sure that if, I'm not sure if there are bay doors in this thing, there might be, 
Might not be. We don't know. I haven't seen them. Walking around. I'm loving this. I really am. I think this is wonderful. I really do. There are the little flaws every now and again. The textures, some of them. I mean, even when you've got them in the dirty mode, they're either too scratched or still just don't feel right. I think this is the best one. This texture pack with or this texture theme and this dirt theme on it here. Um, ignore these. You see these flickering here? Again, ignore that. You can see where the two uh, prefabs are, are conflicting with each other. They're fighting there. It's not on the models, it's on the prefabs. If it was on the models, then there would be problems, but they're not. So I'm not marking those down at all, because I've seen other kits where those are actually on the models. That's you fine, and it's got nothing to do with it. It is just that you just shove one prefab on top of another. Um, so ran up there. It is a massive kit. A massive kit. And actually, uh, some people go, oh, it's price of your kits. When you get to these ones like $50, $60, $70 kit art kits, you really are nitpicking now on the little things. So I, can, I would have these animated or an option to have them animated. I would have these here not so clean and crisp. See who's got these little scratches around the side? Yeah, other ones don't have that. And even then, that red is so vibrant. It wouldn't be so vibrant. It would be, it wouldn't be so vibrant. It would be a bit more faded. Ah, oh, talking about colliders. What have I just fallen into? What did I just fall into? Let's pause that. Let's go back out. What did I just fall into? There's a... Oh, what was I looking at? I was looking at... I was looking at over here, wasn't I? Came out. What was I looking at? One of these bits here. So one of these, one of these, my friends, doesn't have a collider. One of these things is not like the other. One of these things just doesn't belong. What was it? Well, this is, this has got the collider. This has got a collider, this plane here. So we should be fine. Let's try that again. Let's see if I can fall through the ground again. That's exciting, isn't it? I've not. I've played about with this kit so much, and I haven't fallen through the ground once. So uh, we've seen two places where we've been falling through. So where were we looking? We were looking. Right up. There it was. For a moment, it went black, and then I moved away. Oh. Where is it? Can't replicate it. Can't replicate it. Had it for a second, but then I flinched. Are you? Where are you? Let's try that again. Just it's like this reviews turned into. Let's see if we can break it again. Let's see if we can break it again. Right, what's down here? Okay, going in slowly. Going in slowly. Boom. Nope. We we're pretty close, weren't we? We we're about here. We we're reading this, and we went. Here, and we went, fall through the ground. Now, fall through the ground. Now, well, this is the joys of Unity is that sometimes you can randomly fall through the ground, and other times it doesn't happen. Well, that's a shame. I was really looking forward to fall through the ground again. All right, now we need to just pop over here, build settings. Make sure that you've put in your uh, on and off scenes in here, okay? In your build, go like that. What are you doing? Move you. you. Make sure you got those in here if you want to play about with this uh, properly. Click play, pop back in, and my computer is really playing. I don't know what. My computer doesn't like me today. So if now if I push T, we should. It's slow. Now we've got night time. Look now. This is this is what I feel how this level was actually meant to be played in here. Now. Walking around. Now you can see how it's completely different. Now everything just feels so scary. So scary. So scary. And like, if you think that was bad, I think that was freaking out. Wait until. Fantastic. 
so I love this. This is awesome. Many different shades of awesome. It's amazing how the alarm going on. Hey, let's turn that off. Alarm going on. The doors were still louder. This is awesome. It's amazing. I love it. I really do. So, um, this is the Sci-Fi Sickers facility pack from Triple Grid. Try saying that 20 times fast. Well, those doors are so loud. Far too loud. So, um, we need to give this a score. We need to give this a score. And it's difficult for me to score. I'm going to say with a, because, uh, you know, we score, we score on different factors. We score on different factors, don't we? We score, um, not only how good the asset is, but also the support we get. And one of the things I will say about Triple Quick, and I say again and again and again, his customer support is fantastic. I've been a long time user, buyer, customer, supporter of Triple Quick, and I have to say, he, his work is getting better and better and better with each new kit he does. You know, these sort of things here, we need to sort these out. We need to sort these out. Um, everything he does he's just getting better and better each time and he's always updating his packs and replying to people he's fantastic I do I highly score him can't score him high enough on support now uh, the models here I'm gonna say that the models in this pack are beautiful we are always still hitting a good FPS here and I haven't done anything to try and optimize this pack granted we haven't got a load of people running around and shooting each other so I'm gonna think that we are really going to have to do some optimization if we're going to have loaded uh, models running around shooting each other or having fun. But they look beautiful and the textures for the most part are fantastic. You know my gripes here and there. So, well, it's not, I mean, it's high. It's not a perfect five for me on the textures. I'm going to say one other thing. Uh, he has in the past been well, guilty of bad management of his assets. Now we've got folder structures. We've got decals, furnitures, props, and structures. And inside we've got more subfolders. So now it's a lot easier to find things. However, because all of these modular um, pieces, they are very, very generic. So you are going to get lots of things named trim one, trim two, trim three, trim four. So, what else would you call it, though? That's the problem. I was thinking, what else would you call it? Trim with a light on. Trim with a thing on. You know what I mean? It's, once you start playing about with them, you get to, you remember, oh, I, I like trim six, or I need some trim five here, or I need decal uh, six or seven, or label nine. I, I'm not gonna play, I'm not gonna mark him low on these, but in the past, this was basically a big mosh of all of his stuff in one big folder. Now it's a lot easier to find what you're looking for. So I will say, again, keeps getting better, keeps learning, keeps learning from uh, his mistakes, people's comments, and I, I, I give props to that. I give props to that. See what I've done there? Good timing, me. So what score are we gonna give this? I'm gonna give this four and a half um oh tell you what four and a half aliens out of five very alien-esque feel to this isn't there oh yes we can say four and, a, four and a half sigourney weavers no four and a half aliens out of five for the sci-fi facility pack from trouble brick sci-fi facility pack from trouble brick you sir are one to buy that's a messy seal of approval there and then and we're going to be playing about with this in one of these tutorial series that I'm doing. I don't want to say too much because I want to make it obvious of what we're going to do with it. But I've got something sexy planned. Very excited. Indeed. Oh my word. Oh my word. Look at this bird here, this model. Hello. Hello. Where are you? My, my word. Here we go. Look at that. Not nothing overly complicated in there, but it works so well. It just works well. Oh. So, guys and girls, if you do like these videos and you want to see more, click on that big juicy red subscribe button down below so all of your friends, your neighbours, 
that the Messi Coder is doing wonderful Battle Royale tutorial series using Unity Battlegrounds, also doing some more um, tutorial series and other stuff. Oh, we had another weird little flicker. As I was saying, every now and again, I think that's the post processing. I'm gonna blame the post processing on that one. This is why I don't like using post processing um, profiles a lot unless you really know exactly what it's doing because you could get little things like that happening. And I need to find out how we fell through the floor. How did we fall through the floor? Well, guys and gals, if you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.